A very good morning to you, Power Revival community. I'm Eugene Latachan, and as some of you may have seen, I've been assigned the privilege to lead us into uh, the fasting preceding the revival event itself. A few quick things about me. So my family and I moved down to the Pal uh, in January last year. An amazing journey just to see how God's been opening doors for us and how he put us in the Pal for a very specific reason in a time like this. Um, and as part of that, um, it comes from a dream that God gave me back in 2018 uh, about the revival that we are seeing and, and that will take place and how it started uh, in the Western Cape and just moved through our country like a tsunami um, and broader. So also no coincidence that uh, we've seen so many prophetic declarations come through these past few weeks and months over our country um, and the fact that we have planned this power revival event many months back already and just amazing to see how god's timing is always perfect um, so yes uh, part of the dream god also gave me very specific scriptures uh, and one um, key verse that uh, we all should be familiar with comes from Joel 2 uh, where it states that we are to rend our hearts and declare a fast in fact it's actually stated twice in Joel 2 and therefore um, this is our obedient response to to God's word uh, affording us the opportunity to humble ourselves for the blessing that God has in mind for us as a nation as a Paul community and uh, its surrounding areas um, Yes, the fast itself is uh, over a 10-day period. Um, it's there really to afford everybody the opportunity to take part in it. Uh, we recognize that not every person may be able to do a full 10-day fasting. Um, and therefore, it's voluntary in terms of how each person wants to partake in it, um, for how long, in which manner, and uh, uh, in what way. But... We also um, remain obedient in terms of the declaration of a fast um, and therefore we assign Friday the 16th of September as a day of fasting where we then collectively unite as the body of Christ, um, humbling ourselves um, and preparing us for what is to come. Um, so more detail on that will follow. Um, specifically in terms of why we are fasting and what we are praying into. So I will be sharing a lot more information and forms of documents and uh, just quick notes coming through across the board. So um, until then, my prayer is that we remain obedient to God's word, um, that we step into the ways and the good works that he has prepared for us. Um, and that the Holy Spirit would just speak to us in a supernatural way as part of this uh, fasting that we are planning to do. So um, blessings to all of you and uh, we'll stay in touch by then.